Hey everybody, Paul Trin here with Rose64 doing tutorials in Python. And today we're going to look at a few new radial charts that we have inside of row 64 So I'm going to pop open here row 64 2.0. And we've got basically a, a wonderful new uh, template system. If, you, if this is your first time uh, downloading row 64 feel free to just jump into a template to quickly see some sample projects. I'm going to close this out right now because we're only really interested in showing you guys how to do some great uh, new radial charts. But if you click on recipes over here, a little screen will pop up and you can go to charts. And here is the new section right here on the third third option here. If you click on radial charts, we have for, for version 2.0 four new um, data science recipes that make circular bar charts, donut charts, pie charts, and uh, radar plots. So I'm just going to quickly go through examples of each of these. Uh, as you would expect, if you click on example, a new data frame shows up. You can see the super simple syntax here on the on the left that is, you know, uh, row 64's super easy spreadsheet style notation and the data set that comes in that's loaded and uh, the various uh, you know data that we have on the left and on the right we have the sample visualization obviously if you want to see the Python that enables all of this click on both here or you can click on Python and you will see the entire uh, Python that's being generated here obviously if you want to make changes to this if you load in your own data set you can see here very quickly that if you look at circular bar, it's being passed two arguments. You can very easily notice these numbers here relate to the value and then the label that you want to choose. So as you can see in the data here, we've selected the values and the labels. And once you hit run, this, this wonderful visualization comes out. Feel free to explore the Python here. It's written right for you, and uh, it's just super easy to, to use. Let's move on to the next, the next uh, uh, visual we've got. So I'm going to go ahead and expand uh, Data Science Recipes again, and I'm, now I'm going to move into Donut Chart. Let's click Example again. Again, uh, notice that a new data frame opens up as well as a new visual. Uh, some quick cool things that you can do is if you ever if you're working in here and you ever like accidentally switch over to another data frame but you want to get to the data frame that's related to this chart you can see right here it says linked sheet if you click on that it brings over on the other side your um, data frame again that you were working with and you can see here uh, we've got basically our our labels our values and then a zero here is for the uh, notation on the right side for the highlight for the bar so if we you can notice here that zero position is the first row um, if we wanted to for example select the iPhone we would want to pick number two and if we hit run again we should have iPhone selected here on the right so pretty easy really simple again if you want to jump into the Python uh, click both here and you can see quickly the Python obviously the, the wonderful thing is about row 64 is it's very powerful you can you know uh, for example, if you knew uh, if you're learning how to do color maps and you don't want you don't like this gray, for example, um, you could quickly run like a Google search. If you ran a Google search, you might find um, this Matplotlib article that talks about you know uh, color maps. So we've had selected grays here. Uh, obviously, you could choose all kinds of things. The options are pretty pretty limitless. So let's say for example, I even chose prism, right? I could change grays here to prism right and hit run and you'll notice all the other ones kind of update so just give you a little bit of a crash course on how powerful and how versatile uh, row 64 is with um, custom python uh, enabling uh, let's see here okay so we'll go back to data science recipes now that you've seen the the donut chart let's move right into the pie chart similar data set we're lo loading that same exact phone data set you can see here rather than it being a donut chart it's a pie chart and it's the same same concept you can you know number one here is delineating uh, that we're choosing Samsung but if we want to choose iPhone again we would choose number two you click run and that'll just move right over to iPhone um, the final uh, spreadsheet oh, sorry, the final radial chart that we have is the radar plot and you can see here if I click on example a new data frame appears as well as a new data set 
And you can see here, radar plot is super cool, super fun. Um, right now we're selecting uh, op row number two, right, for the player, right? Row number two, pulling in that person's Jeremy's data right here. And you can see here that, you know, Jeremy's a great rebounder, which makes sense with this data set here, right? If we want to highlight Sam, for example, we would just change this value to zero. You hit run and bam, you can see this is uh, as expected. Sam is just a wonderful team player <laughs> and a wonderful defensive player. So he's probably like, he's probably like DeAndre Jordan, right? <laughs> Okay, so let's see here. We click on both, and we can see here the libraries that we're using. Again, we're using uh, matplotlib, and uh, we're using some math. So, I'm importing in Pi. So, yeah, if you have any questions, I hope you found this uh, useful, this tutorial useful. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to jump into our forums or uh, send us an email. Thanks so much for your time. Hope you learned something today.